good evening YouTube so I made it to uh, Edwardsville Illinois and uh, I dropped my loaded trailer and they didn't have any empty trailers so there's a flying J truck stop uh, that's very nearby uh, here where I dropped at and uh, so I'll check back in the morning and see if they have any empty trailers uh, if they don't, then I'll have to go to somewhere else to get an empty trailer. Uh, let uh, daytime dispatchers solve that problem. So in the meantime, they've sent another load that uh, picks up in uh, Granite City, Illinois, and then that that load delivers to uh, to you know the next morning in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. So let's see, that would be I guess Tuesday morning. It would deliver in Omaha. Uh, tomorrow's Monday today was Sunday so <laughs> keep all those days straight so anyway uh, I don't know not a whole lot else going on one thing I wanted to talk about uh, for a long time I've talked about you know kind of Apple computers sort of being a uh, sort of a religion uh, sort of a religious cult Steve Jobs of course was the cult leader and uh, you know there you know Apple is kind of a religion but at the same time I was kind of stumbling over you know why you know even though it's a religion why do these people why are there you have this core of fanatics why are they so zealous and uh, you know they're superior and so on and so forth and I've wondered why you know people can kind of get sucked into this you know uh, why are they so some of them so vehement and uh, they of course they have to have an enemy and of course you know at this point it used to be Microsoft you know, Microsoft was the demon, Microsoft was the devil, and now it's Samsung. Samsung's the new devil. Uh, you know, for the past couple, three years anyway, Samsung is the devil. And uh, <laughs> the devil has to be demonized. So it's, uh, but I was listening uh, to, you know, Adam Curry and John C. Dvorak have the No Agenda podcast, and sometimes I listen to that, and... Uh, so I was listening to their latest episode and, and they kind of talked about this and John C. Dvorak sort of nailed it uh, kind of in a way I hadn't thought of. Uh, when a, whenever Apple has its presentations, as they just did a few days ago, they, they presented their new products and what have you, uh, that's church. And so Steve Jobs used to come out in black you know he's the preacher and then you have the visiting preachers so of course those are the different product category managers uh, you know and, and now Tim Cook comes out in black of course so he knows it he's he's kind of on to it uh, you know he, the, he's the head preacher and uh, you know and of course you, the audience is the congregation and they even have, uh, you know, they've got music, and of course this time it was U2, the band, uh, there at the end. That that was the, the service music. And of course Apple's a megachurch. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and so the, uh, the Apple devices, then what are they? The devices are the, uh, the beads, you know, the prayer beads the rosary beads <laughs> and so it just hit me why but you know you know I still think about you know why are these people's you can't reason with them uh, they're so vehement and the reason is and I think this this applies elsewhere as well the reason is it just hit me and it's a very easy easy thing to see now that I see it and I think well why am why didn't I not see this before the reason is, is because it's a religion. They're getting rid of their guilt with that. It's obviously it's a false religion. It's idolatry. Clearly, it's idolatry. But uh, the people that are really into it, uh, 
you can't they won't listen to reason you can't talk them out of it they just get mad uh, because you're trying to tear down their false their golden calf the false idols and so that you know it's the reason you can't reason with them is because they're they're uh, utilizing Apple in this case to get rid of their guilt and so that could about that also applies to politics politics is uh, you know, political parties are sort of uh, idolatry, false religion. Very simple. So that that kind of explains. You know, I, I'd realized most of this, but uh, some of it was kind of still eluding me. And uh, so I just now, before I started recording, I realized the the thing about the, you know the guilt. You know, the reason you can't reason with them. And that's true of also, you know, of people that are into politics. The reason you can't reason with them is because it's, you know, that's the way they're getting rid of their guilt. And you can't reason with that. It's not possible. So, very interesting. So, anyway, I uh, better be cutting this off. It's going to be getting a little long. I've got, I'm going to include a uh, clip from my uh, dash cam. And plus two or three other little short uh, video clips here at the end. So from Edwardsville, Illinois, I'll catch you later. They dumped up the pictures for inch, right? No. No, they didn't? No. Nope. 325 on the, on the, on the, on the, on the six, on the plus six. Plus. On the plus, it's way higher. Yeah, yeah. Four they're calling both, they're calling both of them HD, right? Uh, yeah, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah, uh, they are. That's what I'm saying. Are, are we being a little bit liberal? But... What's 720p on the... Yeah, 720p is 1080 Right, that's what I'm saying. I've always had issues with calling, you know, with the liberal, liberalness with HD. Because you can also get into a whole different debate. I mean, there's lots of aspects to it. I guess, I guess that's what sales to Apple can say, you know, be on it. We have the AH chip and the MH co processor.